Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Alfred Hitchcock's Sabotage from 1936. As yes, we're back again with another Hitchcock review, and uh, yes, of course comes the spoiler warning. Uh, so you know, if you haven't seen this film, I simply recommending it first, and then come back to this uh, discussion. And we can kind of, um, you know, if you want, uh, talk about this in the comments. And I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts, you know, on this uh, fascinating film. I must say now, you know, really, I'd recommend seeing this, um, of course. And uh, yeah, just look forward to that. Um, so you know. Be warned, of course, especially, you know, mainly uh, one kind of sequence that I'll be talking about um, that is full on spoilers. Um, so, yes, uh, it was very, uh, kind of, very much spoilers. Um, so, um, yeah, just be warned, of course. And um, with all that said, uh, let's kind of discuss this film uh, in a fairly, you know, kind of brief uh, video here. And, uh, you know, this time, you know, it really is brief. Uh, you know, sometimes I've noticed I say that and uh, quite, you know, funnily. You know, I, I, it's not brief uh, video really um, that I kind of go on to do, but you know, this time around, very, very brief because you know, it's not a film that I can talk about too much. Um, first time watch, and um, it's not one of the first time watches that I, you know, I can kind of um, say, even though it's my first viewing, uh, I can talk about for you know, really long, um, or you know, over half an hour at least. Um, you know, it's a film that I can't really um, say too much about, um, but you know, I want to give my general um, impressions on this film, and um, you know, kind of, I do praise this film, um, you know, quite a bit, and um, you know, I, I enjoyed this film, uh, you know, I must say. And, uh, you know, I guess um, it's a film that's not too talked about, really, um, you know. I've seen it on a few lists, um, for example, um, kind of best, you know, thrillers, best, um, you know, kind of um, British films, uh, you know, of all time and all this kind of stuff. But generally, I've not really heard about this film uh, too much. Um, and it's not, I guess it's kind of under the radar and, um, you know, it's kind of, um, you know, a hidden film, really, uh, in some regards. And, um, you know, as I say, as I've said very recently, um, every single, um, that's in, you know, that's right, every single Hitchcock film uh, that I kind of um, go in to see, and I'm always hyped in some way, and um, for example, The Trouble of Harry, um, you know, a film that is meant to be, um, you know, it's, 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 it's viewed as um, one of the weaker efforts, uh, you know, by Hitchcock, and um, a film that didn't really work um, too well, and all this kind of stuff, and it wasn't a film um, that I kind of, um, you know, I heard too much greater things about, you know, um, before going in to see it, and um, then, you know, after seeing that film for the first time, and, um, you know, I've rewatched, of course, um, since, um, but, you know, I came out and, uh, you know, I called it a masterpiece, um, so there you go, um, you know, it kind of, it sums it up, um, you know, I do think, um, you know, Hitchcock films, uh, even, you know, ones that aren't, you know, kind of too highly regarded, um, you know, can um, certainly surprise me, and, uh, you know, just exceed my expectations, and um, I'm always going to, you know, every film really um, with an open mind, um, but, you know, certainly with Hitchcock, I think, um, you know, so many masterpieces um, that I've seen from him, and um, some of them are ones that, you know, kind of aren't, you know, kind of uh, highly regarded, really, um, so yes, I went into this, and, um, you know, I was really hyped, and, um, yeah, it's just a very interesting setup. Um, we have this kind of, um, you know, the electric going, and, um, of course, um, the cinemas, you know, um, that everyone's at, you know, the beginning, um, you know, of course, you know, everything goes off, and um, the customers are basically um, asking for um, their money back, of course, and, uh, you know, then, of course, shortly after that, you know, cinema, um, you know, everything, the lights go back on, the electric, and, um, yeah, um, you know, it kind of resumes, and uh, we have, of course, the couple that run this uh, kind of cinema, uh, being, um, you know, Mrs. Um, Verloc, uh, you know, and, of course, Carl, um, her husband, and, um, you know, Carl Herlock, and um, he is, of course, a very mysterious character um, being set up, and, um, you know, just... Yes, uh, Mrs. Verloc, um, played by Sylvia Sidney, and um, yeah, it's very um, interesting kind of setup here. As I say, um, you know, it's this very kind of um, peaceful, easygoing, um, natural kind of um, you know first act, and um, you could say first half really. Um, you know, the film, and uh, I, I guess you know just seeing these characters, um, you know, interacting, it's very kind of easygoing, um, despite being you know this this kind of espionage film, and uh, we have really kind of um, atmospheric moments, um, you know, it's kind of real nice kind of spy feeling um, this one has, and uh, I loved, um, you know, at times the visuals, and um, generally just, you know, the, the lighting uh, especially, and uh, just to kind of see how Hitchcock is kind of um, staging this, and, uh, you know, I think, especially the character, yes, um, you know, Carl, um, you know, he is just, um, you know, giving a very, very good performance uh, in this film, and I think the lighting um, really adds to, um, you know, just this kind of disturbing feeling um, that I get from this character, um, you know, very menacing, of course, and, um, you know, this being a spoilers, um, you know, review, of course, uh, he is essentially the villain of the film, and uh, he is, of course, the one that's attempting to, um, kind of, um, you know, plant a bomb, uh, you know, in Piccadilly Circus, and, uh, you know, of course, um, the investigator, um, you know, being, um, you know, his undercover uh, detective, um, Ted, um, of course, and he is uh, essentially um, he is sent to kind of investigate and, um, you know, kind of track down, um, you know, this this kind of uh, plot. And just to generally, uh, you know, kind of stop this threat, uh, you know, from occurring and um, the saboteur, you know, kind of 
from enacting his plans. And uh, of course, yes, John Loder um, playing um, you know, Ted. And uh, you know, I think a good performance here. I really liked um, you know, at times the chemistry between um, you know John Loder and uh, of course Sylvia Sidney. And um, you know, I enjoyed this uh, kind of element of the film. Uh, you know, as I say, it's very pleasant at first. Um, you know, it's this peaceful, um, kind of gradual um, you know unfolding of events, and uh, we see you know, different uh, moments, you know, in the house and um, just kind of getting to know the characters um, a little bit and, um, you know, kind of nice, nice interactions and, um, you know, we have Mrs. Um, Verloc, uh, you know, she has, a, of course, a younger brother as well, um, you know, Stevie and um, you know, he, he kind of, um, you know, the interaction is very nice um, but, of course, we have, um, which we'll get to now, um, you know, uh, the standout kind of sequence for me uh, at least and, uh, you know, it seems like you know, from hearing um, the reactions, uh, you know, definitely the most kind of talked about sequence in the film. Uh, very, very shocking and brutal and, um, you know, very, very tense. Uh, you know, I will say a great sequence, um, you know, in the kind of centre of this film. And um, there's, of course, um, you know, Stevie being given um, this parcel, um, this package, of course, um, by by Carl. And, um, you know, he's been sent um, to deliver this. And, uh, of course, we know um, that it's actually a bomb in this. And um, we have the bomb um, being carried by Stevie, um, so dramatic irony, um, you know, classic kind of Hitchcock um, setup and um, using, you know, a device um, like this, you know, a bomb, very, very classic, um, you know, kind of, um, you know, it's one of the kind of uh, the things that you can do um, to, you know, of course, um, deliver this, um, you know, this kind of uh, sequence and, uh, you know, create tension and uh, we know, and perhaps the characters don't know um, something's going on, um, but of course, usually, you know, um, with Hitchcock, there is this um, build up and, you know, unbearable tension and, uh, of course, in the end, no one gets harmed, and um, you know we kind of uh, go back to you know everything else um, going on, and um, you know it's this relief, uh, you know, and this satisfying feeling. Um, but in this film, no, um, actually, the shocking and brutal um, kind of facts about this, and uh, one of the things that makes it um, very, very unique. Um, actually, you know, Stevie does get you know kind of you know he meets his um, his demise, um, you know, through um, delivering this bomb, of course, and it goes off um, not as planned um, by Carl and. Um, in the actual the bus and um, we have you know this this um, you know this this puppy as well and uh, all this and different characters um, you know kind of individuals in the bus um, you know who all get you know killed um, you know it's just very very shocking and uh, you know very very brutal and um, of course I've never seen this um, you know again in a Hitchcock film uh, so very unique you know while I do praise that sequence and uh, I think it's by far um, you know the, the most uh, kind of involving sequence uh, in the film and uh, you know it's very very um, shocking and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I do think after that, you know, kind of um, the film is not as engaging um, for the most part. You know, I enjoyed the elements, you know, kind of um, of um, you know Stevie, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Um, Verloc, and um, all this, you know, kind of going on. Um, and, and after that, you know, once he goes out of it, um, you know, I guess you know, it's not as compelling in, in the kind of drama sense. Um, but of course, the final ten minutes or so um, does pick up again, uh, especially, and uh, we have you know Carl being uh, such a kind of a menacing character, and um, of course, just seeing um, you know this this character, um, you know, it's very it's fascinating to kind of um, you know witness um, this performance, and um, you know to kind of um, as well the, the plot of um, you know this this kind of you know, these spires um, tr playing this, uh, you know, this act out, uh, you know, beforehand and uh, how we have uh, mainly the kind of uh, focus being on, um, you know, this character, um, you know, much more um, kind of heavily um, later on in the film and, uh, you know, this final act uh, being such a kind of, uh, you know, involving piece. And just the performance by Oscar Homolka, um, you know, he is, um, you know, just so good in this film. Uh, for me, definitely the standout, you know, kind of uh, performance here. Um, it's been very very intense uh, moments in that final act. This may not be, you know, kind of a fully um, consistently kind of, uh, to me, you know, satisfying narrative, um, but I think um, the final act uh, does kind of once again pick up and um, at least we have, you know, kind of um, this character, you know, meeting his end and um, yeah, just, um, you know, kind of, um, you know, it's very, very tense and, uh, you know, quite, uh, you know, kind of graphic uh, in the final 10 minutes. And um, yeah, I just really, uh, I thought this was, you know, a fine film, a good film, uh, you know, it's not a film, for me, though, that has um, great characters, uh, you know, I think uh, Mr. Verloc, uh, I will say, is not one of my favourite protagonists, uh, you know, in a Hitchcock film. Uh, you know, I just think there are some forgettable, um, for me, stretches to the film. Um, you know, I've seen it a few weeks ago um, now as of recording this video. Um, but, you know, I usually remember uh, films, uh, you know, for months, you know, kind of on from uh, watching for the first time. And that's not an issue. Uh, but, you know, I think just some moments kind of merge uh, into one. And um, this is not enough um, for me consistently uh, memorable, um, you know, kind of moments and, you know, character working and uh, I think um, some definite flat moments for me and um, I enjoyed different moments of seeing, um, 
you know, they're, they're kind of quite charming, uh, you know, seeing different uh, things being watched in the cinema and um, just to see, you know, in films, you know, people watching films, you know, it's very nice and um, some Disney stuff as well there actually, um, I believe. And um, yeah, just seeing that was very, very nice and, um, you know, pleasant, you know, it's a nice location, um, you know, kind of uh, setting here and um, the atmosphere, as I say, I really praise, um, you know, it has this kind of um, noir feeling, um, I guess, and uh, really just a very, um, you know, kind of disturbing feeling, um, you know, seeing these spies and it's very, very believable um, in that sense um, to see, you know, the interactions and uh, as I say, Oscar Homolka, um, you know, is very, very good in this film, uh, you know, he gives some great moments, um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, acting and uh, just, you know, his character, um, you know, it's very um, interesting to see the setup, you know, very mysterious character and, um, of course, very sinister, um, it becomes clear um, very, very soon and, uh, you know, after that first um, kind of sequence there and, um, yeah, I just really like the way the film wraps up um, in a sense as well and, um, yeah, the cinematography overall, um, very, very good and um, the editing, um, you know, times, especially in that kind of um, bus sequence, um, you know, it's great and, um, you know, so overall, a uh, finely, um, you know, made film and, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, it has, has some moments of comedy as well, um, once again, the kind of um, dry sense of humour, um, you know, through um, you know, Hitchcock and, um, yeah, just, um, it's not one of the standouts for me, um, you know, even in just a sense of comedy, um, but it is a film that has comedy and, um, you know, it kind of elevates the experience, uh, you know, to an extent and, um, yeah, just uh, for me, a fine film, very, very solid, um, you know, it kind of, it nears for me into the average mark, um, you know, overall, because of the final act, I think uh, it kind of solidified itself as a good film and uh, for me, my final rating is a 70%, uh, so yes, a film that I enjoyed, um, you know, I definitely recommend this film, I think, you know, definitely, on the other hand, uh, it's not one of my favourite Hitchcock films, uh, you know, it's a film that, did not, you know, kind of um, blow me away personally, um, but, you know, I appreciated the film, uh, you know, I did enjoy this film, uh, it was very, uh, at times, comforting, and, um, yeah, just a kind of a nice film uh, to see, and, uh, you know, some inspiring moments, um, you know, just in the way, um, you know, this kind of, this film was made, and, um, you know, just um, edited, for example, and, um, as I say, the lighting, uh, you know, is one of the best, um, you know, kind of aspects of this film, and uh, using, using lighting to kind of, um, you know, shadows, um, in a general sense, um, to, you know, create a feeling, um, a sense of dread, and um, I loved, at times, you know, the, the kind of um, espionage um, feel this film had, um, so yes, I wanted to see more of that, um, you know, and I guess the characters um, did not, you know, kind of, um, they weren't, you know, too stand out to me, um, as I say, some forgettable moments, um, you know, for me um, personally, and, uh, you know, just some flat moments um, at times, and uh, I think, you know, consistently, you know, it is definitely, the flow is, is kind of off at times, uh, you know, I guess, uh, in between, the different acts. The central piece, uh, um, you know, of this film being the actual bus um, sequence, um, you know, involving that bomb and uh, seeing, of course, Stevie, um, you know, kind of um, carrying that bomb, that parcel, uh, of course, and um, to his to his doom. Um, that is for me the absolute standout sequence uh, in the film, and um, very very sad, very tragic. And uh, I guess after that, you know, it didn't. It kind of went off again, uh, you know, at times. Uh, but having said that, you know, that was one of the standout sequences and um, really kind of um, shocking. Uh, I did not expect that at all um, for a second, you know, for that character to be killed off um, and, you know, for that to kind of happen. Uh, but of course, very, very bold uh, in that sense. And um, yeah, I think I'd recommend this film, uh, of course, for, you know, anyone, of course. Um, you know, for me, I'm going to be seeing eventually all the Hitchcock films and, um, you know, at a gradual pace. And, um, you know, I think this was definitely kind of um, a nice, uh, you know, kind of pleasant um, first watch. And uh, I look forward to seeing it again. And um, it's not one of my favourite Hitchcock films, um, but I do recommend this and I do overall like this film. A good, solid film. So, yes, that's my thoughts, generally speaking, on this film. And um, what do you think of this? Uh, it'd be very, very interesting to know, um, you know, because it's a very unique very different film, um, you know, I guess, from Hitchcock, um, uh, some things, as I say, you know, that kind of, um, that sequence that we talked about, um, you know, it's not something that Hitchcock really done again um, in his films, uh, for example, you know, one of the main characters like that, um, and, you know, something that, that you know, kind of um, unexpected, um, it didn't really happen again in Hitchcock films, uh, you know, and that kind of, um, that kind of, um, you know, way he, he kind of um, builds tension um, to a point where, you know, it's relieved and uh, we all kind of, feel, you know, kind of um, comforted and, uh, you know, you know, kind of at ease, you know, I guess, and uh, elated, um, you know, it did not happen in this film, and uh, it's very fascinating to see um, how, you know, it's very, um, very much a one, um, one-off case, um, from at least the Hitchcocks that I've seen, it didn't really happen too much again in Hitchcock's career, and um, yeah, just very interesting to see how, you know, this, this did happen uh, in this film, and uh, how it kind of, 
it changed the film, um, you know, I guess, and uh, the nature of, um, you know, the character of Carl, and, um, you know, really, really bold, and, um, yeah, very uh, interesting film, uh, very, very kind of, uh, as I say, charming film, and, uh, yeah, I did enjoy this one, and uh, it would be great to hear your thoughts on this. Um, so, yes, that's my thoughts. We'll wrap up, and um, I look forward to, of course, many, many more, um, you know, Hitchcock discussions on the channel, uh, reviews, lists, and, uh, of course, just um, general kind of uh, discussions, you know, on Hitchcock. Um, many more to come, that's for sure. And um, yes, great to hear your thoughts, um, you know, on these films uh, you know, as we go through them. And um, always great to hear your thoughts on a Hitchcock film and um, you know, get um, you know conversations uh, on these on these films uh, by this truly, truly masterful director. Um, of course, one of my absolute favourites. And um, yeah, a treat, um, you know, as always to see a Hitchcock film. Uh, so yes, that's my thoughts. And um, as always, take care and thanks for watching.